All right, guys, how's it going? It's the East Banglers. Today we're talking about needlefish. We're talking about needlefish, rainbow trout fishing, and everything you need to know pretty much. Mostly, we're gonna focus on the five colors, the five patterns that you need to buy, that you need to fish if you're going to fish the needlefish. And let's talk about the needlefish really quick. It's an underrated lure. It's been out for many years, and it's very flat, very thin and it does have a wobble it has absolutely no weight to it and it does require it to be trolled it's not going to be able to be casted from the bank very well you can weight it and you can try and play around but it's not going to do very well from the shore this is something you're definitely going to want to fish offshore troll it you can be in a kayak you can be in a boat <coughs> So let's talk about them. top five colors, top five patterns. And the first one's gonna be bronze and it's copper bronze. And it's got a bunch of dots on it. It's orange and uh, red dots, line on the uh, side of it that's red, almost imitating very much like a brook trout pattern. If you, you know, look at it, very similar. That would be my number one i like to fish that in all water clarity in general it just works extremely well and i like to start out just my preference with gold before i go to silver type bait um colors in general so i'll start out with gold in it and then if gold ain't working i'll go to silver and if silver ain't working you know then we're going to do some other stuff we're going to go subtle and then we're going to go bold with the colors but um one of the other patterns that's extremely effective, um, especially when the water clarity is extremely terrible or extremely bad, is gonna be that all yellow. It's a hot mustard. It's got like some red splatter on it. That's a really good color. That one is extremely effective when water clarity is very bad, very bad water clarity, uh, six inches or less. So, you know, stands out really well i've caught a lot of fish on it not only trout caught a lot of pan fish on that color so another color we're going to talk about is the rainbow trout pattern now you guys already know there's a lot of rainbow trout being planted in california the stocking programs in california are mismanaged and a lot of times there's been bacteria outbreaks in the last three years they've lost a lot of fish and uh, they've been dumping fish in, juvenile fish, undersized fish, uh, at my local lakes and all around my area of the state, as well as other parts of the state. And a lot of these fish are going to just get eaten by those other fish in the water and the birds. So throwing that rainbow trout pattern can be really effective, especially since there's so many juvenile rainbow trout in California at the moment, the state itself. So the next color we're going to talk about is going to be that copper bronze, similar to gold, but it's going to have a red head. It's going to have a red top and it's just going to be a, you know, it's going to be one of those colors you want to have with you at all times. Not only does it work extremely well, but it, for whatever reason, it, it's very different than the one with the spots that we talked about earlier, the circles and the line. This is a very, although it's, they're both gold, but they're very different. They, uh, they definitely are different. And you know, guys, I know you're kind of probably thinking, you know, needlefish are, you know, generally going to catch you a rainbow trout, but needlefish will catch you almost anything that swims. So the last needlefish we're gonna talk about is gonna be the all silver one. And it's got, well, a little bit of glitter in it, but very much a basic. And sometimes uh, what's really interesting is the one that has the flash, it's like holofoil. I haven't done well on that. It seems like sometimes when they go over um, the top, they get extravagant and they really make it appeal to us 
it doesn't appeal as much to the fish. So I stick with that silver, basic silver as my last option. <sighs> guys, I really hope this helps you guys catch more fish and invest in the right colors, which is gonna ultimately just give you better experience on the water and you're gonna spend your time better. So I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions about needlefish and specifically how to fish them, you guys let us know. 1.3, 1.2, all the way to 2.1 miles per hour is recommended on the troll. And uh, good luck out there, guys.